51-year-old guy from Canada who's been practicing Kung Fu for almost 30 years. And I've just arrived in China to do some intensive Kung Fu training in the famous Wudong Mountains. I'm not sure if I'm ready for this, but I'm going to give it my best shot. So we are here to train, and we train every day, rain or shine, hot or cold. So I wanted to give you an idea of what a lot of the training looks like around the school. From the beginner classes where we're doing basic work, to the drills and stretching and the day-to-day -day training routine. We also get a lot of talks from Master Yuan about flexibility. That's a real reoccurring theme here, and I think in Wudong Kung Fu in general. So here he's giving us a big lecture on flexibility in general, but hip flexibility specifically, and talking about how the hips really are the origin for everything, whether it's kicking or, in this case, He's talking about how important it is for doing one of the basic stances, the Ma Bu, which is the horse stance. And it gives you stability for everything that you do. 
the Wudong Mabu is a little bit wider than some of the other stances, and maybe we'll talk about that at some point uh, later on. But he actually brings up one of the disciples to show how a steady and deep Mabu gives you real strength, strength in everything, uh, from being knocked over to having strength in pushing or punching, uh, and it's really the root of everything. So we'll see showing flexibility in the hips and then also in the waist. That gives you movement and the ability to move around and resist movement. Next he goes on to show how flexibility even in your wrists and your fingers are extremely important. So he has one of the students trying to get him to twist or dislocate his wrist or even to grab his fingers, try to break his fingers, move his fingers and to show that by building the flexibility in your fingers plus your ability to move your shoulders, your wrist, your fingers can allow you to get out of grabs and holds and everything like that. Later on he talks about bringing down the stress in your practice, sort of bringing joy back into your practice and shows how, you know, if you're holding stress in the front of your head because you're concentrating so hard, it's going to create stress all over your head. You'll end up with headaches in the back. Um, and he really wants all of us as students to really not take the training so seriously, don't take Kung Fu so seriously. He's saying that we're really here to do it because we want to do it, we like to do it, so we should approach it with that kind of joy. So he actually ran us through all of our basic training. He got the beginner class, the advanced class, put it all back together and tried to get us to run through some of the basic training drills, just some of the warm-up drills, using a different kind of thought around the whole idea and thinking about um, kind of being young again, jumping and playing and having fun while you're doing it. Uh, one thing he kept saying was, you know, return to your baby body, return to the baby body. Um, just make it kind of like a fun, loose thing and that's the, the best way to warm up, the best way to sort of get into your practice and, you know, fighting and technique and all that kind of stuff can come later. But the whole idea is that we're really doing this for fun.
I started this day actually a little bit low. Um, I woke up and was feeling like really, really sore in the knees. Um, shoulders were hurting, I was feeling extra tired in my legs. I was just thinking, oh man, I'm not sure what I got myself into. I'm a, about a week or a week and a day into uh, training and uh, I wasn't sure really if I could go, kind of go on. So I went down to Qigong this morning and even that was really kind of hard. Um, came back, uh, went back out for breakfast, then had to go right back out for training. And funny actually, as soon as I started stretching and um, starting in with the basic drills and that kind of thing, I started feeling better actually. My knees felt better, my body in general felt better, sort of felt into it. Then I learned some more moves with the uh, sword form and uh, and that kind of felt good actually. Uh, and they were great moves. Uh, had lunch, afternoon session, same thing, basic training, basic drills, then more sword form. That felt good too. So in general, things kind of turned around today. So I guess this is kind of like, you know, bumping up against your, uh, your personal limits, you know, forcing yourself to push past them and then hopefully feeling a little bit better. So I got some interesting news and also some distressing news. Um, is that uh, tomorrow I'll be finishing all the moves in the form. I'll, I won't have perfected it, that's for sure, but I'll have learned all the, uh, all the specific moves. And uh, my coach, Coach Ming Chao, he said that uh, the next day, uh, Wednesday, he wants me to perform during performance day uh, for uh, for Master Yuan, so uh, like the last one, I'm, I'm terrified again, <laughs> and now I know I'm for sure going to do it. Uh, I know I'll know all the moves, but I'm still kind of terrified. Um, he says it's fine; I should be able to do them really slow. And with Wudong Kung Fu, it's you know not like the Kung Fu that I've been doing before, where everything's like. Pah, 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 like super fast all the time, that it's okay to take your time, it's okay to go slow, that uh, Shifu, Master Yuan, knows all the moves, he obviously knows Wudong Kung Fu, so he's looking for correct movement, more so than super speed on everything. So he feels confident that I should be able to uh, do okay in the performance. So we'll see how things go. Um, but I'm gonna have to get some, some extra practice in, I'm gonna have to really drill this to make sure that I really know it in my sleep because I know once I get up there uh, in front of everybody and especially uh, the master, I'm gonna start uh, forgetting moves or getting nervous and that kind of thing. So anyways, we'll, we'll see how things go uh, the day after tomorrow. Well, now it's uh, time to clean up quick, get down for dinner and uh, you know, probably practice a little bit uh, tonight. I think I'm going to practice a little bit more before I uh, take some rest. Thank you. 